Hey everyone, thank you for joining. This is lesson six in our Power Apps implementation video series. Very excited to be here. So uh, next thing that our business users have asked us to do is to create relationships across the tables that we've created for our Power App. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the job table. And I'm gonna click on relationships. And what I'm going to do is then select new relationship. And so then you're presented with these different options, many to one, one to many, many to many. Well, think of it this way. Uh, a company, or uh, in this case, the table that we're going to use for our relationship being the account, the account or the company that's hiring can have many job postings, right? So in this case, because we're looking at this from the angle of the job table, we're going to create a many to one relationship between the job and the account table. And so now we have, in this case, uh, what we're creating here is this logical uh, value that is a little bit more complex. It's called a lookup column. And it allows us to associate many jobs to one account. So we'll go ahead and click done here. We're gonna use the account as the name. And very important, I'm gonna show you here that when you create a many to one relationship, uh, from the standpoint of the uh, job right now, what we're really doing is we're actually creating two relationship records. We're creating the many to one relationship between the job to the account, because the account can have many jobs associated with it. And then we're also creating another relationship between the account and the job, which would be a one to many relationship. So that's what we've essentially done is uh, both ends are covered. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to create a relationship between a job and a candidate. So in this case, uh, a candidate can apply for various jobs, right? And a job can have various candidates. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to create a many to many relationship here between the candidate and the job because we can look at candidates and see all the jobs that they've applied for or interviewed for, but we can also see our jobs and all the candidates that are associated to them. So that's a many to many relationship. So let's go ahead and click on the candidate and then click on relationships and we'll click on a new relationship and it'll be a many to many. And our many to many relationship will be from the candidate table to the jobs table. And here we have our relationship. It's using our schema names uh, in terms of our prefix. So we're good to go. I'll go ahead and hit done there. And we're almost done creating our base relationships just so that you have this fundamental understanding of how this all ties together. The other relationship that I would like to create is between the job and the interview. So the job should have interviews associated with it. So I'm gonna create a one to many relationship. A job can have multiple interviews associated with it. So let's create a one to many relationship between the job and the interview. Very well. And finally, let's create a relationship that is uh, one to many between the candidate and the interview. And it's one to many because the candidate can have many interviews associated to them. So let's create that relationship. One to many with interviews.
And in our next video, what we're going to see is uh, we're going to go ahead and create a form that will surface all of this data. And then we're going to start customizing uh, and, and increasing the value of the customer experience by uh, optimizing our, our form with different fields that we need, uh, different uh, values that we need on the parent entities, like the account in this case. So uh, very excited. Relationships uh, essentially create lookup values on the child entity. Uh, okay, and that's usually the many side of things. So uh, I'm excited to uh, show you what we're going to do with this, uh, this model driven app and the different forms that are inside of it in our next video. Thanks for watching.